Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. It's Mark. Well, I'll tell you what. Real quickly, I want to talk about costs associated with hooking up LiveScope. I don't see a lot of people talk about it, but I see a lot of people online surprised when they get home and they start to need things. There's a lot of questions about uh, lithium. There's a lot of questions about wire size and things like that, uh, battery chargers. So real quickly, so here's my system in a nutshell. I got the LVS32 on the shaft of the Ultrax. I have a 10 inch 106 SV. Right there, you're looking at $2,200 out the door is what I paid for that. Now, now you're talking about accessories. $189 for this 12 volt 50 amp hour battery. This is about perfect for what I need it for. Should give me two to three days of runtime with uh, the voltage where it needs to be to have the clearest image I'm gonna be able to get with this system. You also need a charger. This is $69. So $189, $69. A kill switch. This is very important. This is less than $20 on Amazon. You're also gonna you're also going to need this fuse holder. So you're going to go battery, kill switch, fuse holder to the black box and to your fish finder. So in essence, you're looking at 40, 70, 110, you're at $300 already. And if you have a Garmin at the dash, a $50 20 foot cable to link them together. Why would you want to link them together? Your passenger or your co-angler on the back of the boat is going to be able to see exactly what the live scope is showing up front. So you're just sharing that information. There's other benefits, sharing of screens for other things and et cetera. And you could, perhaps your back's tired, you want to sit down and eat a sandwich. You can still watch live scope from the dash. So that's in a nutshell, it's hundreds of dollars more. Uh, on top of your already expensive screen and live scope option, whether it be 32 or 34, uh, to make this work. Now, there's another caveat. In my case, and most all bass fishermen that I know, they put their LVS 32 or 34 on the shaft of their Ultrax or whatever trolling motor they got. Now, if you're a pan fisherman or a crappie guy, you're going to spend additional money on mounts. This one came with this boat, but it's being sold with the Heritage. This was like $299. This is a sea light. You mount the transducer on that and go crazy. It's very stout. It, it works good. I, I tried it on this boat. It's just, for me, I move around too much. And this is something for somebody that just wants to park and, and point. So... You know, if that's your case, you're, you're, you're well into the $600 range in accessories uh, if you go that route and you need one of those poles. And this is basic, you guys. It gets far more expensive. You get one of those turrets that uh, operates uh, very much like a, a digital trolling motor. You're going to pay, I mean, a lot. So the, that's a big surprise for people when they get done buying their fish finder and their transducer and they get home and... Then they realize they need hundreds of dollars more stuff to, to get what they want. So, oh, I forgot you guys, it's over there. But in that plastic cover, that is a battery holder for the Wise battery. That's another thing. It's like 10 bucks. But it, it, you'll nickel and dime yourself to death with this stuff. So buy what you want and be happy and learn how to use it. That's the key. I mean, we spend thousands of dollars on this stuff. And what's the point if you don't know how to use it? So anyway, just food for thought. If you're getting into the live scope game and you don't understand it, just know that you're going to pay hundreds of dollars more than you did just buying your fish finder and your choice of live scope. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Take it easy. I got to get on the lake. Fish came clean out of the water.
Hello.